I am Professor Dr. Tarashankar Bhag. I am Professor of Eden Hospital Medical College, Kolkata. I want to talk about a much talked about subject today that is NIPT or NIPS. You all have heard about that and it is in relation to the pregnancy investigation, first semester investigation. You all know about Down syndrome. Which, that means low IQ baby which may happen in 1 in 500 or 600 and its chance increases with the age of the mother. So to eliminate this disease there are a lot of screening tests in the market of which you may know first trimester screening that is anti scan with dual marker, quadruple uh, screening and triple marker screening all you may know. All these states has very much low sensitivity and specificity that is 60 to 70 percent. That means its ability to detect the test is 60 to 70 percent or maybe as high as 80 percent. So 20 percent of or 30 percent cases will be missed from if we go through these investigations. That is triple marker test, quadruple test and first trimester Down syndrome screening. That means dual marker with ACT scan. And nowadays, a new test has been has emerged in the market that is uh, NIPT or NIPS. In these tests, uh, the test is done from the maternal blood, so it is called NIPT, non-invasive prenatal test. Though it is a it is a screening test, we cannot be confirmed, but it is as good as a confirmatory test. In, through these tests. We can detect maternal fetal DNA from the maternal blood. So here, what happens? Blood is drawn, few ml blood is drawn from the maternal blood, and this this uh, blood is tested for cell-free fetal DNA. That means fetal cells, the mostly placental cell, trophoblastic cell, it is called, comes in the uh, maternal circulation, and it, it remains for few minutes, but 10% of total uh, cell-free DNA, that means DNA fragments, uh, is from fetal origin, that means placental origin. If we, if, if we segregate this and we go through some tests, then we can detect the chromosomal pattern of these tests. By these, we can do Down syndrome screening and other annuloid screening. That means trisomy, monosomy, Turner syndrome, Down syndrome. Klein filter syndrome, all these sort of aneuploidy. That means aneuploidy means chromosome is not of 46, that means 23 pairs. It will be one or two more or less. That means it may be 45, that is 45 X0 Turner syndrome. It may be 47, like Down syndrome, where in 21 pairs there is an extra chromosome. What there will be? The trisomy 13, trisomy 18, all these may be detected, detected by this NIPT test. This NIPT test is gradually replacing the old age old tests like triple marker test and quadruple test because of its high sensitivity and specificity. It has got 99.7% sensitivity and 99% specificity. That means in 100 cases, it will miss only 0.3 cases. So it is so sensitive and specificity is 99%. That means out of 100 cases, it will give a right result in 99% cases and any false result will be given by this test only 1%. On the other hand, it is around 80% with the quadruple test. In future, I think it will replace these other tests. Though it is not a specific test, if we get a positive result to the NIPT, NIPT, then we have to go for amniocentesis for detection for direct uh, study of the fetal cell but I think in future in future this test may be regarded as a confirmatory test because it has got high sensitivity and specificity and there are some factors for which it may give a false a false result this condition is called placental mosaicism and in some cases of uh, twin pregnancy or maternal chromosomal abnormality, in this few exceptional cases, it may give false positive or false negative results. Otherwise, it is it has got high sensitivity and specificity. Only deterrent factor that it is a costly test. Nowadays, it costs around ten thousand or more. I think in future the cost will be reduced and it will replace all the age-old tests like quadruple, triple, and. Uh, double marker test, I think. 
Now, besides this, this test has got some promising future can, because it may detect Rh negative fetuses. Uh, in many cases, it is required to know the Rh of the fetus, which mostly can be known by, uh, done by amniocentesis, which is difficult and troublesome procedures. Besides this, in future, it can, it can detect single gene abnormality and like disease like thalassemia which is very common in our country thalassemia is 18 uh, prevalences thalassemia carrier in our country is about 18 percent so uh, nowadays for the detection of thalassemia we have to go for amniocentesis and a fetal genetic study but in future it may replace this and it will may detect uh, diseases like thalassemia and other single gene abnormality like hemophilia etc it, sickle cell anemia it, it can be detected by these tests and it is it has got a very promising future that's all